Hi guys, it is the Lionsgate portal. If you're not sure like what to do, this is a time, like I said in my live, uh, where <laughs> good energy, it's a portal of energy. You can get things manifested. So what I'm gonna be doing for you is a reading on the Lionsgate portal. Like what is it to expect for the remainder of this year? What is it that you, to expect, you know, as a collective, this is gonna be a message, you know, what to expect, like what's coming up. So we're gonna be using my cards. Uh, let me use these other cards here. Um, I use the writer weight for a lot of reading. So I'm going to change to my, uh, what is it called? The Modern Lovers Tarot. And I hope all of you are doing good. All right. So the first card that we have here is the Ten of Swords. So it's like for the remainder of the year, a lot of you with this portal, Lionsgate portal is opening up a lot of wounds. I think there's a lot of like healing to be done for those of you that have been through the ringer or have gone through a, like a betrayal, a divorce, a separation, something in a relationship that has gone awry with people. Um, I feel like there's just like you picking up the pieces and moving forward. You're no longer looking back. Um, the page of wands is like, you've tried to like put on uh, a brave poker face. And I think a lot of you have, and you're turning to your creativity. This is a time where consciousness is rising. I think people are, um, their pineal gland, their third eyes are activating and opening up. A lot of people are like seeing the veil, you know, very thin. And so you may start already experiencing a lot of paranormal activity. Would not be surprised. Uh, it's starting now also because of the Lionsgate portal falls on the 8th, but the 12th is the full moon in Aquarius. I believe it's in Aquarius, but it's a full moon energy. Um, it's like there's a lot of stuff already happening. You're feeling like the intensity of what's happening. So what we put, the intentions we put in today will kind of set the tone for the remainder of this year. You know, the hangman is like a lot of you are, are like feeling like, oh, I'm, I'm probably trapped. Like this is not, you know, you could be in a relationship that's unfruitful, but because of financial constraints or children, you're not able to separate from that. Um, a lot of you could be in a work relationship where because of comfort, you're afraid to start all over again or get paid less than what you're making now. But um, the emperor just shows you the divine masculine is like coming in and stepping in right now. And I do feel like if you have a partner, you know, they may step up and kind of show you, you know, more support during this uh, remainder of this year, you know, um, or you could have someone coming into that. That may be you, even if you're a female embodying that kind of mass divine masculine the dual duality of, you know, we all have a divine masculine, a divine feminine, you could actually be embodying that and finding that you're the one that's creating solutions and thinking logically. The justice card tells me again, that some of you just need someone to vent to someone to talk to. Um, there is a lot of like finding balance in your life. You may be feeling like, ah, uh, I'm just like overworked or I'm underpaid or all this stuff is happening to me, but you know, nobody sees it, but myself and other people do see. And I think that your moods are affecting other people around uh, you, your family Four of pentacles kind of like, again, just like you may be, might be making money, but you're also like just disappointed. Other people might be doing, and it's like something that a lot of people are ashamed to talk about being jealous of other people, believe it or not, when you see somebody else that's successful, you may have like reasons to be jealous, you know, and it's not that you want to compare yourself to them, but we're all human at the end of the day, we all have feelings and emotions. And it's just, it's something that is that happens, you know, you can't really like hide it, but it's okay. Because again, the three of swords just makes me feel like you're going to go through experiencing this upset or this pain as some of you could find it like, you know, a relationship, a friendship breaking up, but to make room for something new, which is the ace of cups, which is love, like marriage, uh, a brighter future. So again, this may not all happen within, you know, the remainder of this year, but with the Lionsgate portal, I feel like a lot of these things are very highlighted, like for you to consider where are your priorities in, in your life right now? Are you overworked or is this work take precedence over your family life and your personal life? Are you putting work before your happiness? If so, there needs to be a shift. Also, like, are you too focused and hyper fixated on the things that don't matter that's creating a rift in your relationship? Or you're not, you're not picking and choosing your battles, you're poking the bear constantly. But the Ace of Wands indicates new beginnings, a lot of bright future. So a lot of you are going to take this, but the bull by its horns and literally start a new chapter, you know, as we get into 2023. Some of you are going to go through the eight of cups and kind of feel the loss and feel 
you know, like, ah, uh, I didn't win anything from this, but actually you did. You gained a lot of wisdom and a lot of truth. And you kind of learned more about people and opened your eyes to them. The page of pentacles tells me again, there's this part of you that is like needing to reconnect to your youthful side. Um, and it, that will help you, you know, to your inner child, connecting to your inner child. And again, finding the fun again in, in life that can help you, you know, uh, with your financial opportunities and your career. The Hierophant just tells me, again, there's maybe somebody in your life that's very spiritual that you look up to. So a lot of people during this time may find the energy very anxious or full of anxiety or anxiousness. And they're wanting to seek some out, somebody like myself or another YouTuber or somebody that's a psychic medium or somebody that's spiritual, a healer, a, a, a Reiki master, a shaman, someone that can help them heal, you know, on some level. With the Four of Cups, again, there's a little confusion. It's like you're not necessarily going to be moving at a fast, fast pace. But with the Queen of Wands, you're all about reinventing yourself and like strengthening yourself and bettering yourself. And that's commendable. And you can do it because you're fierce. Some of you will be actually moving as we get into 2023 with this um, ending of the Lionsgate portal. Again, I just feel like there's a lot of movement for you guys, and it's good. Then we have the Page of Cups again. So again, just like um, finding the wonderlust and the wonderment and things all around you, being grateful for the minor blessings is very important because it sets the tone of what, you know, when you're grateful for things, even if they're in the littlest or the most minute little blessing if you're grateful for it it opens up doors for you and that's what we're needing for the remainder of this year again queen of pentacles like a lot of you just are fixated on making income you're already doing that you know and you're finding new avenues and ways to express yourself so that's kind of like what i see for this lionsgate portal there's a lot of powerful messages i feel like with what i shared um again it's up to you to kind of like kind of dissect that and see where you fall into this whole lionsgate portal what what's going on in your life what areas you need to identify that are the most important to you and what you can do to change anything if that if it's even necessary to change something but i hope this helped you guys also don't forget all of my readings are on sale right now including emergency readings um and this is written email emergency readings and also video emergency readings but they are on sale um 30 off no promo code needed just go to my website www raymondguzman.net forward slash uh, readings. Also for a lot of people that want to pay with a visa or a credit card, I don't accept those payments on my website. However, you can Venmo uh, and it's at psychic medium rate to Venmo, or you can use my cash app, which is the dollar sign and then psychic medium Ray. All right, guys, I love you so much until next time. Bye.